Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the Mahindra chess round 8 game between Magnus Carlsen and Levon Aronian, and I have a great news for you, Stockfish 16 has been released yesterday. Life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards, so let's go, I started the game with b3, I mean Magnus Carlsen started the game with b3, we have d5, Magnus wouldn't play a4 rook a3 to sacrifice the rook, because he is not stockfish, just imagine if somebody plays like this and sacrifices rook against his opponent in the chess tournament, and wins the game like stockfish, how it would be. Everyone will be shocked, Levi Rosman might lose his voice by shouting out as the rook, bishop b2 knight here knight f3, bishop g4 to capture the knight so e3, e6 and Magnus played h3, bishop h5 to go there and he wants to use this diagonal, so d3 to build, 2 chain pawn structure to block the bishop diagonal, h6 and Magnus pushed his g pawn aggressively, sometimes Magnus loves to play double fumetto which is called hippocampus defense, he is neither less than hippocampus too. Magnus will not play castle because it is the serious attack in the king side, bishop have to go back then knight will go there to target the bishop and weaken the structure, the h pawn is already pushed, so he can't support the bishop, bishop g4 knight to e5 as Magnus Carlsen planned, he is trying to weakening the kingside structure which is why we have bishop h7 knight d2 knight d7, takes takes bishop g2, Magnus wants to push the e pawn. So we have c6 to form a queenside pawn chain to block the bishop line, queen e2 and e4 is a threat, queen c7 and lemon wants to castle in queenside as you can see, e5 is an incoming threat so Magnus complete his pawn structure development with f4. This is a great pawn structure for the dark square bishop to access all these dark squares, he got angry with this and played f6, trying to block pairs of bishop strategic ideas, we have castle in opposite side, queen here to target the pawn. Bishop a3 is a possible threat to exchange the bishops, he strikes the center with e4, here if you dare to capture the pawn, queen takes pawn, then after takes takes, we will capture the pawn with a check, king here rook e1, this is coming and the worst thing is that the queen can't do anything here, so rook c8 queen takes pawn, the knight is coming and the king position is in a very bad situation, you may lose the game so back to the position, we have castle, king b1 bishop a3. Here best move is to play rook e1 and giving black the bishop exchange offer which is completely okay for the king but Magnus takes the bishop, it's a bad move because now the queen gets the hole on b2 square we have another center exchanges on d5, now the file gets open for the rook with an extra move which aids why we have rook e1, here best move is to play knight c5, let me show you the variation, f5 knight a6, if you play a 2000 lo move knight f3 then d4. To seize these very important squares, success isn't about how your life looks to others. It's about how it feels to you. So h4 then black will get the opportunity to play knight b4 to destroy you, here if you play any normal kind of move for example h5, it's not queen takes pawn, it's knight takes pawn with a threat of playing knight c3 to fork them, if queen b2 then knight c3 will come anyway, and it will be a checkmate, so, in this position, knight takes a2 is coming so you have to play queen check, king b8 then queen c4, to protect that pawn from the queen and knight attacks, we will play bishop g4, queen c5 then check. King here bishop takes b3, sacrificing the bishop and if you dare to take the bishop, then after queen a1 check king here queen b2 check blocks and takes, it will be a checkmated, so back to the position, here pawn takes bishop isn't possible and black is threatening to play b6 to kick out the queen, if the queen run away then it will be a checkmate on c2 square, there is no way to protect the king in the game, but in our actual game, in this position he didn't find knight c5. He played an accuracy move f5 and chess friends, if you want to think like me and destroy your opponents then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, so we have knight c3 takes takes, rook here f5, dumb move and best was to play queen d2 to protect the king like this, knight f6 and here best move is to play knight e5, I can't show you the variation otherwise the video will be long. So Magnus played dumb move bishop h4, what a mad looking feeking move. Putting the bishop behind his own stupid structure, maybe he wants to push this nonsense pawns somehow, so lemon get a chance to play d4, seizing that square, 
g5 mistake move, best was to play knight e5, so after takes knight takes, bishop g8 to target on these pawns, we have bishop g2 and lemon played rook d5, yes you right, he sacrificed the rook, blunders Carlson accept the rook sacrifice, it's a super blunder move because after knight takes d5, lemon is threatening to fork the king and queen. And how will you protect the king and queen at the same time? If you slide the queen to f2, then knight c3 will come king here then it will be a checkmated on a2, so back to the position, if you slide the king then knight c3 will come anyway, this targets this and this, queen f2 then it will be a mate on a2 anyway, for that reason, Magnus Carlsen decided to resign the game after making a blunder of 200 elo rated move, knight c3 is coming, so you have to play c4 to protect the pawn, knight c3 check king a1, takes takes and black is completely winning here. Don't go back, enjoy the game with my background music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.